Hello, my name is Rian Blom with the Avaya Mentor Team. In this video, we look at Product Support Notice 020534 for Avaya Aura Application Enablement Services, also referred to as AES. This Product Support Notice, or PSN, informs customers of an application specific licensing or ASL expiration happening on the 23rd of August in 2022. You may have received a notice from Avaya or found this PSN on the Avaya support site. I would advise that you make sure you have the most recent version of this PSN as we have updated it recently with additional information. Looking at the contents of the PSN, you will see that it applies to all releases of AES. The problem description explains that application specific licensing or ASL is used by certain applications to acquire special licensing privileges. You can find the list of applications documented in the PSN. If you have one of these applications, then you need to be aware that the ASL verification mechanism used by these applications will expire on August the 23rd, 2022. If no action is taken, then these applications will continue to function normally until the first time the AES is restarted on or after August the 23rd, 2022. A restart or any other event that forces the applications to reconnect to AES, like regular application maintenance, network interruption or power outages happening on or after August 23, 2022, will cause an outage, unless the actions documented in this PSN have been implemented. Under the Resolution section of the PSN, you can find instructions for how to resolve this issue. These updates are all available now and should be applied at the earliest opportunity. Instructions for high availability systems can also be found in the PSN and are not specifically called out during this video. As you will see in this resolution section, AES release 8.1.3.3 and above are being addressed either through a super patch or in the base load of the software. This hotfix should not be installed on any release 8.1.3.3 or later. For release 8.1.3.4, no patches are required for this issue because a fix was already built into this release. If your AES is on release 8.1.3.3, you need to ensure that you install the latest available super patch for that release to address this issue. The demonstration in this video will focus on systems running Application Enablement Services Release 4 through Release 8.1.3.2. Since this issue only affects AES service with an application connected that is using application specific licensing, if your AES does not have such an application connected, then you do not have to take any action. To assist customers with confirming whether they are using an application making use of ASL licensing, Avaya has released a script that will assist in determining if an ASL application is connected to AES. Thus for any customer with AES release 4 through 8.1.3.2, step 1 would be to run the check ASL script. This check ASL script is separate and independent of the software update hotfix. Additionally, this check ASL script is not service impacting and can be run at any time as it does not restart any services. The output of the check ASL script will advise a customer whether they need to proceed with step 2, which is the installation of the AES hotfix. Please note that step 2 is service affecting, as installing the AES hotfix will restart services on the AES. You'll need to download both the check ASL script as well as the hotfix from Avaya PLDS. Here you can see the Avaya PLDS download ID for the check ASL script. And on the next slide you can see the Avaya PLDS download links for the hotfix as well as the 8.1.3.3 super patch. I have added an extra row to the table for AES 10.1 and later 
since there will be no hotfix provided for this release. If you are moving to AES 10.1 and you have an application connected to AES using ASL, then the application will only work until the first time the connection between this application and AES is restarted on or after August the 23rd, 2022. In order to continue working after this date, applications using ASL require to be updated with a new ASL negotiation method introduced with AES 10.1. Customers upgrading their AES to 10.1 will need to ensure that their CTI applications making use of ASL licensing has been updated with this new mechanism. Next I will demonstrate how to download the required files from Avaya PLDS. Once you've logged on to Avaya PLDS, you can search for the download public ID of the ASL detection script and download it. You can find important information like the file name, file size and MD5 checksum value for the file under the download description section. Next, change the download ID to that of the AES hotfix and download the hotfix. Next, I will show you how to copy the ASL detection script and the hotfix onto the AES server. You can use an application like WinSCP to connect to your AES as the CUST user or another user that you may have created with shell access. Once connected, simply drag the files over to the temp directory on the AES. Now that the files are on the AES, we will look at step 1, detection of the ASL applications using the check ASL script. As a reminder, this should only be applicable to customers with AES release 4.x through 8.1.3.2. To run the ASL detection script, it first needs to be copied into the temp directory on AES. In this demonstration, I've already completed that task earlier using WinSCP. Then you will need to run MD5SUM to verify the integrity of the script. If the MD5 checksum value matches what is shown here, you need to give the script executable permissions and then run the script as the root user. Using an application like PuTTY, log into your AES as the CUST user. To check whether you need to run the ASL detection script on this AES, run the SW version command. This AES does fall within the requirements, so I will change to the temp directory where I copied the script to. Next I will run MD5SUM to verify the integrity of the script, and in this example the value matches that of the PSN as well as a via PLDS. That means that we can now go ahead and give this script executable permissions and then run the script to check whether there are any ASL applications using this AES. As a reminder, this script is not service affecting. Next, I will switch to the root user and then run the script. As you can see in this instance, no ASL configurations were identified on this AES server. That means that this AES does not need the hotfix. In order to give you an example of the script detecting the presence of an ASL application, I've connected Avaya Oceana to this AES and I will now rerun the script. As you can see, in this case, the script identified that one or more ASL applications are connected to this AES. That means that this AES will definitely require the hotfix and that we should proceed to step two. Before applying the hotfix, it is recommended to take a backup of the AES. That can be done by logging into the AES management console. Once logged on, browse to Maintenance, Server Data and Backup. The AES database backup can be downloaded from here.
Next we take a look at step 2 which involves application of the hotfix. Before applying the hotfix, please make sure that you have thoroughly reviewed all notes documented in the PSN regarding this hotfix. One of the most important notes to be aware of is that some of the services on AES will be restarted and thus applying this hotfix is service affecting. It is therefore best practice to install this hotfix during a maintenance window. Expected completion times are mentioned in the PSN. However, I always advise customers that these times only refer to the AES. If you have one or more applications connected to the AES, it may take those applications longer to recover. You should also take into consideration whether all of your CTI applications connected to AES will automatically reconnect or whether you will require an engineer to manually initiate reconnection to the AES. Lastly, you should note that this software update or hotfix does not persist across any additional hotfix, super patch or upgrade. Depending on the version you are upgrading to, it may be required to reapply this hotfix after every subsequent update or upgrade. Installation steps for the hotfix is shown on this slide. First you need to verify that AE services is active on the AES by running the command service AES VCS status. Then you will need to copy the hotfix into the temp directory on AES, which I have already demonstrated earlier in this video. Next you will need to verify the MD5 sum for this file and if the MD5 checksum is correct, then you can go ahead and give the file executable permissions. Finally, you'll need to switch to the root user and run the command at the bottom of the slide to install the hotfix, making sure that you specify the dash F at the end of the command. So per the hotfix instructions, the first thing that we'll check is the AE services status. As you can see in the output, AE services is active, so we are good to proceed with the next step. Make sure you are in the temp directory and that you can see the file you copied onto the AES earlier. Next run the md5 sum command and verify the output matches what is in the PSN or on a via PLDS. If everything looks good, give the file executable permissions. Next switch to the root user and run the command to install the hotfix and remember to add the dash f at the end. You will receive a warning reminding you that this hotfix installation will be service impacting. To continue enter yes and the hotfix installation will continue. You should receive a progress update and confirmation that the hotfix installation completed successfully. To confirm or check whether this hotfix has been installed on an AES, you just need to run the SW version command. You should see the hotfix listed under the patch section. That concludes this presentation. Thank you for your time today. We welcome comments, questions and feedback at mentor at .com or on Twitter at Avaya Mentor. For more details or related information, please contact Avaya ATAC or alternatively visit the Avaya OneCare portal link shown. Thank you for choosing Avaya.